go ahead and let's talk about uh, shapes in Vesper. Okay, now after we draw the Lewis structure, we're able to determine the shape of the molecule. Main thing here is we have to pay attention to just the central atom. Okay, now sulfur dioxide is missing this, but that is the Lewis structures that we had before. Okay, that we just finished doing in our previous examples. So we're just paying attention to the central atom. And what we're looking for is we're looking for charged clouds. Now charged clouds are area of electron concentration and they can either be bonded pairs or they can be lone pairs. Okay, so when we're looking at our sulfur dioxide, uh, we're looking for our charged clouds um, and we see that we have one, two, and three. Now some people want to say that that double bond is two charged clouds, but it's not because that double bond is sitting right there and that's an area of electron concentration. So here we are only going to have our three charged clouds and of those charged clouds only one of them are dots, so only one of them are lone pairs. So what we'll do is uh, we should have that Vesper chart memorized. Um, and what we do is if we look and we see we have three charged clouds, one lone pair, it's going to give us a bent shape. And that's the shape for sulfur dioxide. Now over here with carbon, we see that we have one, two, three, four, four charged clouds, and none of them are lone pairs. So four charged clouds, zero lone pairs, we should know that that is tetrahedral.